Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to write an experiment report for experiment 4B magnetic field. So the learning outcome here is at the end of this lesson, students should be able to determine the value of horizontal component of earth magnetic BE. Okay, so the theoretical value for the earth magnetic is BE 0.42 exponent negative 4 Tesla. Okay, so this is the standard value for the horizontal component of the earth magnetic field. Okay, look at the theory. The magnetic field B strength B is the vector quantity. So the addition of the two magnetic field obeys the parallelogram law. For example, B earth is in the horizontal component. Okay, so this is let's say this is our B earth. And B C is the magnetic field of a coin. Okay, which is perpendicular to B earth. Okay, so for example, this is our B coin. Okay, so as a resultant, the two field B. So this is the resultant magnetic field for BE and also BC when they meet together. So a compass needle is situated at the place where the two field meet will be aligned to the directions of the resultant B. Okay, so meaning that the compass needle it will show the resultant magnetic field. Okay, so next. From Biot-Savart law, the magnetic field strength of the coin at the center is given B coin is equal to mu naught Ni over D. Okay, where D is actually the diameter. Okay, so from the equations here, okay, so we know that if let's say this is the uh, this is the coin and the current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so if let's say you use a right hand grip, okay, if you use right hand grip where uh, this is the time where time represents the directions of B and the finger here represents the directions of the current. So you found that actually the current when it is flowing in anti-clockwise direction, the magnetic field B is actually out from the pitch. Okay, so B coin is at 2 out from the pitch. Okay, okay, so since we have B of and also we have B coin that acting perpendicular to B earth. Therefore, the resultant magnetic field, okay, it will go in this direction at the angle theta. Okay, so if you want to find tangent theta, okay, so tangent theta here will equal to BC over BE. Okay, where BC is mu naught Ni over D. Okay, so this is our BC and then divided by BE okay so therefore we know that if you compare with the equation y equals to mx plus c where tangent theta here is y component and then i is actually x component so we know that actually the gradient here is equal to mu naught n over d b e okay so from the graph we found that the gradient is actually equal to mu naught n over D, D is the diameter times B of. Okay, so therefore, from this equation, from the gradient here, we managed to find the value for B of where B of is equal to mu naught n over dm, where m here is a gradient of the ground. For example, let's say this is our circuit. Okay, the initially, before we on the power supply or before we on the switch, our compass here. Okay, so for example, let's say this is our eye from the top view. Okay, from the top view. Okay, so our compass, let's say this is compass. Okay, so initially before we on the, okay, before we on the switch, okay, the compass here shows the directions of the earth magnetic. Okay, where the earth magnetic here is pointing to the north. Okay, it's pointing to the north. Okay, now when we on the power supply here, okay, when we on the power supply here, the current will flow through okay so for example for this case the current will flow in to the coin in and then it will go up go back to the circuit okay so meaning that for this coin the current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction okay and here it produce r okay it will produce r a magnetic a magnetic field by the coin Okay, so let's say this is our B coin. Okay, so this is our B coin. Okay, therefore, initially the compass shows to the earth. Okay, but because 
when we on the power supply, current will flow through the coin, so automatically it will produce a magnetic field that is acting downward. Okay, so at the end, the compass, needle of the compass, it will deflect. Okay, it will deflect at the angle theta, so it will deflect at the point where it shows the B resultant. Okay, so how can we determine the value of the theta? We can use tangent theta. Okay, so we can use tangent theta where tangent theta is equal to B chi over B of. Okay, so later, after we obtain all the value, okay, so you must get at least uh, seven value. Okay, then after that, we shuffle back. Okay, we try to change the polarity of the power supply. So after that, later we will change the polarity of the power supply. Okay, where this one will become positive. Okay, and here will become negative. So the current will flow in clockwise direction. Okay, it will flow in clockwise direction. So when it flow in clockwise direction, okay, the magnetic field. Okay, so okay, I draw a new compass. Huh? Okay, so when you change the polarity, meaning that the compass before you on the power supply, the compass shows to the north. Okay, so this is B E. Okay, so when you change the polarity of the power supply, our current it will flow in clockwise direction. Therefore, B of the coin it will flow into the pitch. So this is our B coin. Okay, therefore the resultant B magnetic field it will deflect in this direction. So this is the angle theta. Okay, so meaning that we will have two theta. The first theta is uh, before we change the polarity of the power supply, and the second theta is after we change. Okay, so this is theta one. This one will be theta two. Okay, so if you look at the value give you, okay, the objective here. Okay, so the objective here is to determine the value of horizontal component of the earth. Okay, and the diameter is 11 plus minus 0 0.1. And then the number of turns is 30 turns. Okay, so this is the value that are uh, already given. So you need to uh, plot the graph. Where we need to plot the graph tangent theta against I. Okay, so step one, when you want to write the report, step one for calculation part. Okay, step one, you must find the central point. Okay, number two, you must find the gradient. Okay, so gradient, we will use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so remember when every time you, when you want to plot the graph, okay, so you must start with the title first. Okay, so you must have a title and then, okay, you must label the y exit and x exit. So here we plot tangent theta, so it's tangent theta, Okay, against I, where I is in, I is in uh, ampere. Okay, I is in ampere. Okay, so after you find the central point, okay, and then you try to plot the graph. Okay, so let's say this is my graph. Okay, and then we draw a straight line, the best fit line. Where this best fit line, okay, the first one you must pass through the centroid, and then you must pass through as many points as possible, and then it must be balanced at both sides. Okay, so after plotting the graph, remember to draw a, a gradient. So remember to draw a gradient where the gradient here must have 8 cm and here also 8 cm. 0 0.2, okay, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and so on. Okay, so for y exit, uh, y exit later you need to calculate, uh, you need to calculate. Okay, so if let's say the range here is uh, 1.8 until 3.8. Okay, so later y exit also you need to okay you need to find the best scale for tangent theta for y exit. Okay, and remember when you want to substitute into the equations to calculate the gradient, our 0 0.2 you must divide it by 20. Okay, where 0 0.2 over 20 we will get 0 0.01. So this is the uncertainty. Okay, so this is the uncertainty of the scale. Okay, so later you must substitute. We have two decimal places. Okay, so for example, y exit, uh, we use the range 0 0.5, 1.0, and so on. So if let's say 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 over 20, we will get 0 0.025. So this one is three decimal places. Okay, so when you substitute into the equation, x exit, uh, sorry, y exit is, you must have three decimal places. So 
Okay, so 1, 2, 3 minus 1, 2, 3 over x exit, we have 2 decimal places, so it's point 2 decimal places, 2 decimal places. Okay, therefore, we will get our answer in, depends on the significant figure. And the unit, because it's tangent over ampere, so tangent, there's no unit. Therefore, the unit for the gradient is per ampere. Okay, it's per ampere. Okay, so after that, step 3 is we compare the gradient, the value of the gradient with uh, the equations uh, just now. Okay, so if you compare just now, we found that actually B is equal to mu naught N over dm. Okay, so we will get the of magnetic field. Okay, where is uh is equal to power of negative four Tesla. Okay, so you need to find out what is the value. Uh. Okay, and usually come up with the exponent negative four Tesla. So remember the unit is Tesla. Okay, after that step four is you need to compare. Uh, you need to compare. Uh, the with the standard. Okay, you need to compare with the standard or the theoretical value. Okay, so step four is you must compare. Okay, so I write here step four. Okay, percentage of difference. Theoretical value minus exponent, experimental value modulus over theoretical value times one hundred percent. Okay. Okay. After that. We go to discussion. So for discussion part, you must state down what is the percentage of difference, what is the, uh, the experimental value that we will get, and you must state what is the area and also precaution step. Okay, and last part is the conclusion. Okay, so that's all for this uh, report writing. See you on our next video. Bye.